are looking at a juniper tree and juniper trees are in the cypress family and there are about 60 different species of juniper trees and they're all kind of short shrubby or you can even find like mat like junipers that grow along the ground they populate some of the harshest sites in the northern hemisphere they're highly resistant to drought and also to extreme temperatures so you'll kind of find them growing in cold desert regions they establish deep root systems on rocky soil where they don't have to compete with grasses as much they're also pokey they're kind of ragged bushy trees uh, the trunks often divided into two or more stems near the base and the bark is really thin and fibrous and hangs in loose strips indigenous people would sometimes weave this bark into a rope and use it to carry fire when they were traveling because it would smolder for a long time the foliage can be a little bit confusing because there are two different kinds of leaves on junipers on the mature trees you have these really thin scale like leaves but uh, we'll come over here and look at this baby juniper and it has the other type of leaf. So on immature junipers, you'll find these really short spiky leaves. Uh, I've seen them described as being all like, they're really pokey. The juniper berries are actually a berry-like cone. They're the seeds of the plant and these seeds can only germinate if they pass through the digestive tract of a bird or a mammal. Birds are the main disseminators of these and you can often find lines of juniper trees underneath fence lines because the birds have sat there and pooped out the cones. They're both male and female trees so if they have the juniper berries on it it's a female tree. The junipers actually diminish forage for wildlife because the animals don't like eating this <laughs> Don't like eating these leaves and they're capable of putting out this chemical compound that discourages the growth of other vegetation near their base. Both the berries and the foliage were used medicinally by indigenous people and by people in Europe as well. And it was used for a whole range of ailments. Uh, they used it for coughs and colds and fever and diarrhea as an aid in childbirth and as a sedative. And a number of other uh, ailments were treated with the berries and like any medicinal thing it can also be poisonous if consumed in too large of a quantity. Uh, people with kidney problems and pregnant women in particular should avoid messing with this plant. The berries were eaten by some tribes. They could be cooked or roasted. Bark was used in basketry and the wood was often used to make bows. Uh, because it's really irregular in shape it's not valued as lumber but uh, beautiful woes, woes could be carved from it. One scientist did a study and he discovered that 900 berries passed through a single bohemian waxwing in five hours. So can you imagine your job being counting juniper berries and bird poop? Then. <laughs>